on back there. It's not glamorous, is it? Vicky can't talk, she's eating. Good morning! It's Friday the 14th of July. Welcome to all the stations. Day mini. <laughs> what he said. Let's get the once a week train. I feel like we should just say hello to everyone. So you're Dave, Terry, Keith, Kim, Alan, Cyril, Christine, Margaret. Hello Margaret. <laughs> oh, you've got two oh, presents. You got no, you've actually got three. Duplicate. Well, there you go, we're yeah. duplicate. You can All the two. presents. Yeah. Well, there you go. It's uh, Look at that. Yeah. A hand printed, in, it's the totem, oh, what do they call absolutely. it? The totem style And song. the other one, the other famous person who's got one of them is that chap. Is that Mr. Paul? That's Mr. Paul Merton. Paul Merton, yeah. He's it's, been here as he's well. He's never had Mr. Portello. Oh, oh no. Yeah. Come by. <laughs> When did this whole one one train a week shenanigans start? The one train a week thing must have started like when the service finished in 91, 90, okay. 1990. So it's been Hamlet, so I'm trying well, to add on. It's been years and years, yeah. and they keep altering the days of it and the times. It used to be it. on a Saturday from, from Staley Bridge to Stockport. I'm, it did. Even I'm old enough to remember that. Yeah. Yeah. And then they bounced it to a Friday. And cynically, they moved it to 27 minutes past nine. So you can't use your pensioners pass on it because it's not valid. It's not valid. Do you that think past, that was deliberate? Uh, I do think it's deliberate, but that doesn't matter <laughs> because the, the, we're still going as a campaign to get a proper service. So really. what you'd like to see is a regular what hourly service, say from Victoria yeah. to, to Stockport via then to. So it's 9:21. It's due in six minutes. 9:27. Yeah. Where, yeah. Why is why where is that? Why is there no dot? There is a sign. I was gonna say, where's the dot matrix? <laughs> Well, do you all put your hands out? Do you all do it? It's a request. It is a request stop. Yeah. Very sound. <laughs> do it. Tick. Thank you. <laughs> when we get to Stanley Bridge, you're going to count how many people we have. Time One, two, three, four, five, six. That's a lot of people. We are at Staley Bridge Station, making the journey from Reddish South to Staley Bridge. Um, joining us on the journey was the lovely Bryony. Hello, Bryony. Hello. <laughs> uh, so, Bryony, you came with us because when we met Ian in Wales, he said, "Oh, I have, I know somebody who would perhaps enjoy uh, travelling on that bit of the line with us, and that was you." Yes. So, you have an interest and a passion for railways. When, when did that start? Oh, well. Probably, actually, uh, well, uh, apparently, the first film I saw was The Railway Children in 1971 when I was 18 months old. And my parents didn't think I remembered it. I had my nappy changed at the cinema. But apparently six months later, I said, when are we going to see the trains again? As we were travelling along the line, you you, you, you hadn't ridden that, that part no. before. No. So what was it like for you to I see was, it for the first I time? Like, I can see my well, I can't quite see my house from there because it's behind the big industrial estate but I bought I bought a house in Denton uh, about eight or nine months ago and I've been meaning to ride the train ever since so it's like oh exciting finally ticked it off. The other thing I wanted to ask you about if it's okay to ask um, as you all know YouTube um, I'm a big Harry Potter fan and Bryony you, you would it be fair to say you discovered yeah. Harry Potter? Yeah. Can you tell yeah. us the story? Um, well, I worked for a literary agency in 1995. I was just office manager opening the post. I'd worked with a few authors on a few bits, but uh, it wasn't, you know, I was really the admin person and I was supposed to open the post, sort it out. And one day this, um, it was a children's book. We weren't supposed to do them. Uh, I was supposed to reject it, but it was in an unusual clamp file. So I noticed it, picked it out, had a read of it. And the first chapter made me laugh so much, like reading Charmed Life under the bedclothes with a torch when I was nine or 10. So we got the whole manuscript, tried to find a publisher. It took about a year, but eventually Bloomsbury got, they got it. Got, they got what we'd got ages ago and, uh, and took it on and well, the rest is history. On behalf of all Harry Potter fans <laughs> around the world, I would like to say thank you. Bernie. No, no problem at all. <laughs> <laughs> My pleasure. <laughs> That was an eventful morning. <laughs> I feel like we might have to have an, like a bonus video of all the footage just from Reddish South and Denton this morning. However, we've made it to Sutterbridge. Uh, we're now on the train to Huddersfield. And it's a pacer. <laughs> if you've been following our Twitters the last week, a little bit of love-hate 
in the third eye paces. Some people love them, some people hate them. Uh, and it's become a bit of a joke that they're called nodding donkeys and up in the north, the north, you get a lot of paces which are essentially just Leyland buses. They're a bus on wheels. Um, but they are being replaced. And we have a man on the train, I'm going to say hello to James. Good morning, James. Hi, that actually works for Northern Railway. What's your job title? I work in the communications team. Okay. Uh, so I kind of deal with internal and external communications. And you've come out to see us this morning because you're yes. here to tell us that the paces are being replaced. Am I correct? Yes. So what is happening with these trains? So these, these trains and the uh, 144s, which are very similar, they're being uh, replaced because they no longer meet the disability requirements. So there's a new type of train coming in, what, yeah. the diesels? So we're building uh, nearly 100 new trains, they've been built out in Spain, they're a mixture of diesels and electrics. So maybe there'll be like a big Pacer graveyard somewhere. Well, it's interesting you show this, because there's actually a dead Pacer underneath Manchester Victoria Station. Sorry, I'm sorry, there's a dead Pacer There's unit. a dead Pacer down at, we, yeah, it was involved in an accident about 25 years ago at Lime Street. It ran down the hill from Edge Hill to Lime Street and it was taken out of service and the remains of it are hidden in the tunnels under Manchester Victoria Station. James, so the point is, you can look down the lens and say that by 2020, the places are gone and new trains are coming. New trains are coming, <laughs> they're being built. It's a great build. This is not Slaithwaite, it's Slowit. 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 Tiny platform. Train is still. We're coming into Huddersfield, which station which looks amazing, but there's also a very special someone <coughs> that we would like to meet. I think this is it. Oh, this one here. Oh. <gasps> Hello. Vicky, here we go. This is Felix. Yeah. Felix is very active on Facebook. <laughs> And she is a very special member of staff here, is that right? Absolutely. <laughs> she runs the place. I'm very excited to meet Felix. Now, this, this cat has more Facebook followers than, 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 than we do. Yeah. A cat has more Facebook followers than us. I'd be excited if Felix started following us on Facebook. That would be exciting. Everything feels like, in Yorkshire, it's like, yeah, we're going to do it properly. Yes, we'll have a station, but we're going to build a proper one. How are you enjoying Dewsbury? Or a Batley. What's a Batley? In a former life, I had a fixation with certain biscuit manufacturers, Fox's Biscuits. Their factory is here in Batley. Yeah, I mean, it's smell the chocolate in the air. There are flags out. Why are there flags out? It's Yorkshire. They do it properly. We've got 20 minutes to our train, that means I can go to the post office and get a tea. Meet you back here. I need to go to the toilet. <laughs> if you're going to vlog, Vic, you might as well vlog going to the toilet. See you in 20 minutes. <laughs> Love Yorkshire. Pontefract. Pontefract has three stations. Founders. All completely separate. And I don't know what tan shelf means. Chapelton. Chapel Town. Chapelton. We're reversing here. We're not going to Sheffield because we're going back up the line to Huddersfield. I've lost Vicky. I don't know where she is. Here she is. It's pretty impressive. Sadly, we sort of come at the wrong time of day because we're looking because the camera is struggling, so looking right into the sunlight. But uh, would you say that is more or less impressive than Shrewsbury? 
We'll think about that one, let you know. It started at Reddish South with a rare train and it's been a cat filled day aside from that. I'd say less impressive. And beautiful Yorkshire. Oh, I don't know though, it's really good. Oh, she's still thinking about it. I was trying to wrap up and say bye. Okay, bye. We're going now. More tomorrow. <laughs> You've given us a whole. I've got a whole. That's incredible. Bag Thank snacks. you. Thanks. Okay. You can have the pack for life. I feel like we want, can go uh, now, Jeff. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>